All right. Today, what we're going to learn is a flam paradiddle. Um, not really a commonly used rudiment that I, I haven't seen a lot of guys use it, but I'm going to show you how to how to play it first of all on the snare drum, and then how to apply it to the drum set because that's ultimately what we're trying to do uh, as a drum set artist. So. The first thing you need to know is what is a paradiddle. A paradiddle is just uh, a sticking of four notes. It's right, left, then we have right, right, and then we have left, right, left, left. Now the name paradiddle will go, it goes right with the sticking. So a diddle, every time you say diddle, is going to be either two rights or it's going to be two lefts. So we have paradiddle or paradiddle. Okay, so that's essentially what a paradiddle is, all right? But what we're trying to do now is we're trying to add an extra note called the grace note in between that, in, the, in between the first note of, of the accented note. So this is called the grace note. So the grace note, we have to place lower than the primary stroke. The primary stroke is the most important note right now. So essentially what we want to hear is the accent, okay? want to hear but now what we're to make it a little more uh, it's a little tougher but to me it flows a little more is we're gonna add a grace note so we have this the grace note is gonna be on the left hand so the left hand is actually the first uh, hand that's hitting and then the right hand so that's a grace note so notice that the left hand went right before the right hand and the same thing goes with when we do it off the left hand the right hand is gonna go first and the left hand is gonna follow it so we have Okay, so here's flams. So those are flams. So what we're adding is trying to add one of those flams in the paradiddle, the flam paradiddle. So we have flam, left hand, then right. Right. Then we have the left hand flam. Notice that the grace note is on the right hand first. And then we have uh, right, left, left. So a flam paradiddle is right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, with an extra note in the beginning of the grouping. So we have. I use it on the drum set, it's not that way. I, what I do is I add an extra note, so it's going to be a group of actually five notes. So we have right, left, right, right, and then a left hand. Okay? So the phrasing is this it's right, left, right, right, left. We have a grouping that's uneven right now, okay? If you phrase it in a 16th note, it'll definitely be uneven. So the accent is going to be moving around from the 1 to the E to the N, etc. until you get through the whole cycle, okay? So this is without the flam, okay? So we have this. We have... So that's the whole sequence. Now, to make it flow a little bit, again, like I said, we're going to add a grace note. A grace note, it just adds a little, uh, it's, it's actually an ornament. So it's going to add a little color to it. So it's a little tougher, but it, to me it flows more on the drum set, okay, than our regular flam paradiddle. Okay, so we have this. We have flam, left, right, right, left, flam. Notice that we have, right before you do the sequence again, you have the left hand and then another left hand which is the grace note into the repeating of that rudiment. So we have again flam, left, right, right and then left and then the cycle starts again and notice my left hand hits again with the flam. Okay? So I'll play this slowly. One, two, three, four.
okay? So that's, that's pretty much what a flam paradiddle, adding an extra left hand. So you get a phrasing of five. Now, why do I add the extra left hand? Reason is, when I move it around, what happens is it sounds like a snare chatter. Like, it, the snare just keeps going. So I'll just move it around, the ride cymbal, for now, just doing the same pattern. Flam, left, right, right, left, flam, left, right, right, left. It repeats the whole cycle again, okay? So here we go. No groove yet, just the regular fill. I'll play a little faster. One, two, three, four. Notice the snare is always continuing. The snare is always continuing. So you always have that continuous sound happening on the snare drum, which to me makes it really cool. It's not broken up. Everything is all flowing. Even though it's a grouping of five notes, it sounds like a, continu a continuous thing. Okay? So I'll play it again. One, 